through this video I'm using pen for demonstration purposes only. This is to ensure that you can see all lines that in which I'm creating when marking out. Pen is not used when marking wood as it stains the wood as the ink from the pen get absorbed from the fiber of the wood. I'm only using the pen for demonstration purposes only so that you can see it and pencil is always used when marking out. This is important because it provides accurate precise marking. As shown in the video I'm creating a distance from the spur to the stock of 30 millimeters. I have my elbows in by my side to give good control and b balance over both tools and ensure that the measurement is correct. Here I'm using the marking gauge off face side and face edge because these are the two data edges which provide an accurate marking. So what is a datum edge? A datum edge is a flat surface or straight edge from which all measurements can be taken. This removes the danger of making multiple errors. I'm running the marking gauge down along the piece to prevent the fibres from rising. This marking is at 30 millimetres from the face edge. This shows the measurement from the edge to our marking line of 30 millimeters. Why don't we use the bottom of the spur? The bottom of the spur gets larger as it goes into the stem. It creates a cone shape and the further down the spur the more of a distance you are going to create from the stem. Here I am after setting 30 millimeters to the bottom of the spur. Now I'm going to create a new line down the same piece of material with this marking of the bottom of the spur. Here shows the distance between the two lines which were marked with the bottom of the spur and also the tip of the spur. When measuring the distance, it has a significant effect as it is 1.5 millimeters of a difference. This really affects the accuracy and the preciseness of your marking out and will really affect the processing procedures as you develop on throughout this project. This is why it is important to measure to the tip of the spur and not the bottom of the spur. Because the bottom of the spur is larger than the tip and affects the preciseness and accuracy of your measurement. Why is it important to double check your measurement? It is important to double check your measurement always because the stock has a tendency to move when you're tightening it, when you're adjust uh, tightening the adjustment nut. For instance, in the video, I'm marking 30 mil to the top of the spur and when I tighten the nut and double check my measurement the measurement has gone down to 28 millimeters. This is why it is extremely important to double check your measurement and ensure before you start marking out that your measurement is precise and accurate. Always double check your measurement and ensure that the marking is 30 millimeters as shown.